coming into this project, you might have thought strings were trivial, but I hope I've shown you there's more to them than meets the eye. We've looked at how strings are different from arrays, how we can write useful extensions for strings, how Swift lets us combine functions together beautifully, and how NS attributed string lets us add formatting to strings. Of course, we've only just scratched the surface of strings here, but there are some challenges that will encourage you to write some extensions of your own, so you get a better feel for how it works. And remember, anyone can sit through a tutorial, but it takes actual work to remember what was taught. It's my job to make sure you take as much from these tutorials as possible. I've prepared another short review to help you check your learning. You can find a link to this on the main Hacking with Swift review page. Once again, it's time for your challenge. One of the best ways to learn is to write your own code as often as possible. So here are three ways you can put your newfound knowledge to use straight away to make sure you fully understand what's going on. First, create a string extension that writes a with prefix method. If a string already contains a prefix, it should return itself. If it doesn't contain a prefix, it should return itself with a prefix added. For example, pet with prefix car should return carpet. Second, create a string extension that adds an isNumeric property that returns true if the string holds any sort of number. Here's a tip for you, creating a double from a string is a failable initializer. How can you use that? And third, create a string extension that adds a lines property that returns an array of all lines in a string. So this line break is line break a line break test should return an array with four elements.